Hi, I'm Scott Slater. And I'm Tony Daniel. And we're here at C2E2 talking about Batman. So what does Batman mean to me and Bruce Wayne? That's a tough one because he's been a part of my life, I think, since I was a little kid. Now my son dresses as Batman for Halloween all the time, and I'm Robin actually next to him, so I have some embarrassing photos in that regard. But I guess what he means to me is he's always been a hero who, he's one of the few characters that doesn't have superpowers, you know, in a world of superheroes, and yet he's still the greatest superhero among them. I always joke, I'm like Avengers vs. X-Men, who wins Batman, you know, at the end of the day. So being the greatest hero in the world and still having no powers beyond being a human is something that really inspires, I think, me as a kid to know that you can stand next to guys that can fly, you know, to the moon or to the sun and guys that can make whatever they want with their ring and still be just as much of a hero as them even when you don't have any superpowers. He is a, uh, he is a part of a normal human being who was uh, affected by, like, tragic events in his life that totally changed him into uh, a different person who wanted to uh, stand up and take action. And uh, uh, he's just, uh, you, know, uh, you know, a powerhouse, uh, you know, he's, he's a relentless force. And um, that's what makes him so cool and, and, and dangerous. And the fact that he has all these weapons and, and finances at his disposal to do whatever he wanted, I mean, you know, I think that it's easier for people to relate to a character like that. Um, because in a weird kind of way, you can kind of think this is possible if somebody had enough money. They can do some of this, but yeah, it, you know, it makes it kind of fun. Well, well my favorite uh, element of, of Batman and your, um, your storyline has been, I mean, it's not even fair to ask because I feel like there's so many things I love about what you're doing in Detective, but I've been a fan of Tony's all the way back from when you were just drawing Batman before you were writing Batman, and then... Once you started writing Batman, all the stuff that you did with the Black Mask, all the stuff that you did, you know, all the way through, um, you took over Detective to me. was I loved how you really developed this whole idea of crime in Gotham as something that was threatening to him. And it wasn't something that just felt as though, you know, he could, he could take it down. It wasn't thugs. It was larger-than-life villains that really threatened him in a way that made me feel, reading it, that he was really at risk. And the art was always amazing. But, and what you're doing in Detective, the thing I love the most about what you're doing in Detective is you've really made Gotham a reflection, I think, of, of this, this kind of hostile world for Batman where it seems like even the police don't trust them and stuff like that. And you're using larger-than-life villains, but you're still keeping it focused on the detective elements in that way. And everything you did with the Joker, everything you've done since, I mean, with the Dollmaker and everything, it's been great. So I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Detective. Oh, wow. Thank you. Uh, what I admire most about uh, Scott Snyder, just just in general, is that first of all, I think Scott, and I think many people will agree that he is one of the absolute most talented writers uh, in the industry today. And uh, you know, he, you know, us switching places and me getting on um, Detective and you taking over Batman, you know, I had some pretty big shoes to fill. When I when I read when I read Batman, I I, I look at it and go, man, this 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 guy is good. Thanks. That's how I feel about Tony on that, and it's a, it's amazing to see. I mean, I, I had fun on Detective, and I'm glad people like the story. But how many people love your Detective? It's just incredible to see. Like you've made it a top ten book, and that's incredibly impressive. You know, thank you. Top five, top everything. It's wow. way at the top. So. Thank you. But I, I aspire to be as great as Scott Snyder. So, yeah. Well, the feeling's mutual, so we just aspire <laughs> back and forth.